Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the fourth problem of RMO, which talks about an uh, equation equal to 2025. And in fact, this is just a diaphragm equation. A diaphragm equation is any equation whose variable are integers. Over here, the variables are positive rationals and you need to prove the non-existence of such positive rational solutions. Prove that no rational numbers x and y satisfy this equation. Rational numbers are just integers upon division of the form p by q. So you can convert x and y into the form p by q and what uh, turns out will be a diaphragm equation. And what are certain strategies that come to our mind when you think about diaphragm? You can solve the diaphragm using congruence, that's one idea, or factorization. But here factorization might not be uh, applicable. But let's think about using congruences here because 2025 is not something random. They have specifically defined, designed it that way, maybe. So for example, let's take x to be m1 upon n1 and y to be m2 upon n2. They are positive, so m1, n1, m2, n2, all these are natural numbers. Upon substitution, you get m1 by n1 plus n1 by m1 plus y plus 1 by y, that is m2 by n2 plus n2 by m2 equal 2025. Over here, uh, I assume m1 and n1 are co-prime to each other, m2 and n2 are co-prime to each other. In other words, they are reduced fractions. Let's write it down. m1, n1 equal 1 and the GCD of m2, n2 equal 1. Simplifying, you get m1 square plus n1 square by m1 n1 plus m2 square plus n2 square by m2 n2 equal 2025. Now notice each of these are by themselves reduced fractions. For the sake of contradiction, let a prime p divide both numerator and denominator of them. Say a prime p divides m1 n1, which means it must be a prime factor of either m1 or n1. So let's say prime p divides m1, for example. Then can it divide m1 square plus n1 square? No, because prime p1 is already dividing m1 as per our hypothesis. So that would imply prime p must divide n1 square and therefore the prime p is present in the prime factorization of both n1 and m1 leading to a contradictory uh, in accordance with our assumption. Therefore, these fractions by themselves are reduced. Let's suppose, uh, assume that the first reduced fraction is a1 by b1 and the second one is a2 by b2. This is equal to 2025. And since they are already reduced and 2025 is an integer, you must have b1 and b2 to be equal. If they are not equal, then you will have some fraction in your LHS. For example, if you consider a2 by b2, that would be equal to 2025 minus a1 by b1, which is equal to 2025 b1 minus a1 by b1. Observe this, this fraction is reduced because any prime divisor of B1 cannot divide A1, therefore they cannot share any prime factor. And A2 by B2 is also a prime divisor of, sorry, A2 by B2 is also, as, uh, is also a reduced fraction. And any rational number will have a unique reduced representation 
therefore we conclude that b1 equal b2 and you have a2 equal 2025 b1 minus a1 so you can thus you can thus rewrite this as m1 square plus n1 square plus m2 square plus n2 square by m1 n1 equal 2025 because m1 n1 and m2 n2 are equal so over here we have m1 n1 equal m2 n2 as b1 is m1 n1 and b2 is m2 n2 notice that 2025 is divisible by 3 therefore the numerator of this fraction must be divisible by 3 so 3 divides m1 square n1 square plus m2 square plus n2 square we will just use this fact and arrive at a contradiction the entire 2025 is only used for as uh, only used as a number that is multiple of 3 any square number so here we are using the fact that any square number leaves a remainder of 0 or 1 mod 3 or when divided by 3 because uh, if it leaves a remainder of 0 then its uh, square will also leave remainder 0 if it's plus or minus 1 if it's 3k plus or minus 1 its square will also always be of the form 3k plus 1 you can now think about the reminders of each of these numbers what could be the possible reminders can it be 0 0 0 0 never because m1 and n1 are co-prime in our assumption all right if they are uh, all not zero some of them must be one and since three divides it we must have at least three ones and what does that mean this means that exactly one of these four must be a multiple of 3 and that cannot happen because we have m1 n1 equal m2 n2 and that uh, was our actual value of uh, b1 or b2 anyways if you assume m1 to be multiple of 3 the lhs is divisible by 3 and consequently you will have the RHS to be divisible by 3. So 3 divides either M2 or N2, making one of these two values to be also congruent to 0 mod 3. And that cannot happen because the entire uh, sum of squares must be divisible by 3. And that reaches a contradiction because 2025 is divisible by 3. So we have certain value that is divisible by 3 in the RHS but the numerator of the LHS is not divisible hence if you divide anything with the numerator it will again be not divisible by 3 so this says that there is no rational solution for this equation you can also put your own ideas and strategies but I would say you immediately have to realize this is just diaphragm time because if you convert this with integers what you get eventually are, uh, is an equation with integers. So congruence must be one of the ideas that must uh, come in your mind. But maybe 2025 mod 3 will not be obvious. But when you work with this expression, you can check out with some devices of 2025 and go with the modulo of that and try to reach some conclusion based on that. So I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.